Hello and welcome back to Smoothies with Shayla. It's been a hot minute and since all y'all are just like y'all just keep asking me to make another smoothie video decided I'd oblige you. When I say all y'all really I only mean one person so for this one person you know who you are. Well, I appreciate you. So yesterday my landlord picked me some carrots pulled them right up out of the ground. The carrots were great. And I washed the carrot tops, put them in my sink with the carrots to dry overnight, and they're looking pretty pathetic today. All wilty and sad, but we cannot let this go to waste. So, we're going to incorporate it into the smoothie. So, we should actually probably start with some liquid. Now, I uh, pushed around in my fridge a little bit and uh, found this. Lord knows how long that's been in there. I have no clue. The expiration date is like May, so this probably isn't even good, but we'll give it a go. Because why not? Oh, wait, that's been open. Um, this might be bad, but we'll see. Well, I don't see any green yet, so it smells fine. Guess we'll just hope for the best in this situation. Like I said, we can't waste, can't waste food. Anyways, so I'll just uh, break up this green stuff a little bit. If it breaks, I have to use my muscles. You know, you don't really use your muscles much at a desk job. Anyways, not like that matters. We'll just shove that all in there. You know, it doesn't... It doesn't taste bad by itself. Like, I don't know, it's, it tastes like the garden. I don't know how much of this we want to be putting in here because I don't know how good it's going to be in a smoothie, but you live and you learn, I guess. This will be one of those moments and we got to save some room for something else. So, bananas that went bad that I put in the freezer for a smoothie. Sweeten that up a little bit. And of course, mango, which is kind of like, it'll be fine. And I haven't used this blender in like a very long time and it's not a Vitamix, so I don't remember how to use it. So, bear with me. I don't even know, like, it's plugged in, I know that much. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Fifty million settings on this thing, and I don't even know what they're all supposed to do. So we go through them. I'm just like, <laughs> which one will learn best? I don't know. I don't know. Someone buy me a Vitamix, please. But that's not green enough, so we're gonna put some more of the greens in there to green it up a little more. Cause what's the point of a green smoothie if it's not freaking green? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so yeah, we'll just shove more of that in it. Oh, oh. I can't forget the, the, the milled flax seed because that's supposed to be good for you. So we'll just add it to the good for you smoothie. Decent amount, you know, like just eyeball it, you know what I mean? So I'll we'll just shove, well, I guess I better use a spoon. Or something. 
gotta make sure it gets down in there, you know what I mean? I hope I don't break the blender. <laughs> Not a Vitamix, like I said. <laughs> Well, it's still not very green and this is why I do not like non Vitamix blenders because like you can like blend it up but like see all those speckles Vitamix wouldn't do that so we're just gonna go with the flow I guess and try this sucker out oh it's thick that's how I like them that's gonna make a mess but uh. Cheers. Coconut and mango are very prominent. Very prominent. Who has cold? Banana is also fairly prominent too. Maybe it's a little too much banana. I guess the carrot tops just add like a little bit of a carrot, little hint to it. So, I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's just, <laughs> just can't really taste the carrot tops. Well, I guess if you don't like greens, this is the smoothie for you. Because you get your greens, but you don't taste it. So, thank you for joining me today, y'all. Probably one of you that watched this. Peace.